Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Brazil, and they take on Serbia. Well, thanks Derek, this is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Alexandro plays with Danilo in the fullback positions. Casemiro plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Neymar. And the Serbia starting 11. Well, as you can see, they're playing with a front two, three central midfield players and a couple of wing backs. It's a great of when played well, but it does leave them vulnerable to switches of play. And so the match is underway. Vinicius, Neymar, on to Paqueta, determined defending, moving it forward, but they dealt with the threat first, well talking about Brazil, really the ultimate World Cup team and if you look at the group stage this time around oh Derek there's a chance here and a goal to open the scoring a very bright start to this one well as you can see this is absolutely brilliant he's such a good runner with the ball and it's a great individual goal brilliant from him Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, a yellow card so early in this one, Stuart. Well, it doesn't matter how early it is in the game, that's a poor challenge and deserved the booking. Kostic. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. A 
Lucas Bagueta. He has teammates around him. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Can he make it count? Full credit. Wonderful stop. Has the strength to hang on to it. Fred. Now with Paqueta. He's in here. And Neymar has done it. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and what a clinical finish this is. Hit with such power by Neymar, not much chance for the goalkeeper there. Great goal. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Alexander Mitrovic. Well, the attack looks promising. But nothing comes of it. Paqueta. Casemiro. They couldn't maintain possession. Paqueta, now with Danilo, oh it might be, well flinging himself at the ball. It's Neymar's corner. Struggling to get it away. Well, nothing comes of it. Can they hit on the break? All hands on deck. Mitrovic. Really bright looking attack. Not high quality defending. Neymar now with Paqueta chance to do damage Fred it's there for him off the post and back in play Fred now with Paqueta oh so close but just unable to keep the shot down Well, Brazil have bossed the possession, as you can see, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. Yes, who knows? Maybe another opportunity in the works for them. Vinicius, and he's through here. Fred. Still looking for space. Casimiro, and blocked for now. Casemiro. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a tremendous game in attack, Stuart. Yeah, he's certainly carved out plenty of chances. He's tested the keeper on numerous occasions, and he got his reward with that goal. Brilliant stuff from him. So back underway here into the second half. He 
He's got to have a go here. Can they cover up? Just cleared away in the nick of time. Vlaovic. Not to be this time. Neymar. Mitrovic. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Lucas Paqueta. Vinicius. Important facet of his play. Fred! High echelon goalkeeping there. Now the delivery. Not too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. An awful lot of green space to run into. Vlaovic. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Paqueta. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Real chance. Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, let's see this again. Look at the bend he gets on this. That struck so cleanly. What a good finish. Goal. And the ball is rolling again. Brazil really starting to accelerate away here. 20 minutes remaining. Mitrovic. Tadic has it. Vlaovic. Zivkovic. And very deftly cut out. They're really pressing their opponents. Vinicius Junior. Paqueta. And he was in the right place to intercept. But doesn't have to do it on his own. Lovely ball over the top. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. Casemiro, Fred, Vinicius, well there to intercept, Nikola Milenkovic, well it comes down to the final five minutes, Milenkovic Savic, Vlaovic, And he could really get at the opposition. Cross fired over. Milinkovic Savic. Is this the moment? A 
An important challenge, but they must remain organised. And full time, Brazil have prevailed. That's the big story here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.